And good evening and thank you for joining us at six. I'm Andrew Hill and I'm Shannon Ogden. For more than a year now, Denver 7 Investigates has been digging into problems at Denver Health. From dangerous delays in response times to paramedics feeling pressure to bypass qualified hospitals while they have critically injured patients. Well, tonight, Denver Health announces a major development that looks to improve safety. And here to break everything down is Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kowaleski. Yeah, good evening, Ann and Shannon. The question everybody's asking is who wins here? And the clear answer is the people of Denver. Before our reporting, most had no idea about the delayed response times, times when the city had no ambulances available, and the unknown internal pressures on paramedics. Last month, Denver's mayor said it was no longer acceptable. And now the city announced this major change. This is a big deal. It's a big change. In terms Denver's mayor and the new CEO of Denver Health. We have a goal to continue to improve response times, no matter who is responding. Both concisely framed the issues and the new future for Denver residents needing emergency care. We all recognize we had to get better. I mean, one of the areas that we focused on is how we empower our fire department and the men and women who respond typically first. During the past year, Denver 7 Investigates placed a bright spotlight on the culture inside Denver Health's paramedic division. Emails, testimonials, and data uncovered concerns over response times and policies that prevented firefighters from providing advanced life support while waiting for ambulances. Engine 18 traffic. Uh, they have no buses available at this time. Stand by. Engine 1, engine 26, and engine 8. We'll let you know. How many times do you think firefighters could make a difference by issuing an IV? Every shift. Every day. She didn't deserve to die. We also heard from a mother who questioned a life and death decision with her 11 year old daughter. She deserved better. In that case, records showed paramedics elected to bypass a hospital just two miles away and instead drive three times the distance back to Denver Health. Two humans made bad decisions that day and took a child from this world. We also heard from courageous paramedics risking their careers to question the culture and motivation of leadership, pressuring paramedics to bypass qualified hospitals. Were you ever questioned about a decision to bring a level one trauma patient to the closest hospital instead of Denver Health? Yes, by my superiors and the medical direction team. Do you think Denver Health believes that they can't be stopped? Yes, they do. They, they play by their own rules. Denver's mayor and city leaders acknowledge the critical role played by the paramedics and the firefighters who sent strong messages during the past year. Now, a new agreement includes 35 changes, moves designed to increase accountability, transparency, and the safety of Denver residents. I do think it, it takes some of the noise that, quite frankly, I've observed in the system. These are designed to create a unified system. I hope and pray it's successful because ultimately it mean we save lives, right? And we help cut short the crises because I think it's a partnership that ultimately will benefit the people of Denver. Now, the new agreement means there are now two medical directors, one for Denver Fire directing firefighters until the paramedics arrive, and one for Denver Health directing paramedics after they arrive. It also calls for new paramedic training for firefighters. That means they can provide advanced life support skills while they wait for paramedics from Denver Health to arrive. Ann? All right, Tony, so what's the timeline here for change and when can residents expect to see a difference? A lot of people saying it can't happen quick enough, but it will be a multi-phase transition that will be rolled out during the next six to 12 months. Ann? All right, Tony, thank, thank you, Tony. you for that. And you can see all of Tony's in-depth investigations into Denver Health right now on Denver7.com and Denver7 Plus. All you have to do is search Denver Health.